How's it going guys, Vabov here and welcome back to another video. Now a couple of weeks ago I made a video talking about the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra and those phones are pretty much the talk of the town these days with them coming out in less than a month and we're gonna discuss that in this video but I basically went over the specifications as well as the design and how it sort of fell short from a Samsung sort of benchmark. Now ever since then we've had more leaks talking about the design, more official leaks from Samsung themselves, and also some details on pricing as well as availability. So without further ado, let's actually get into the first leak by Max Weinbach. He is a prolific leaker, so are the other ones that I'm going to mention in this video. Do check them out by using the link down in the description. But basically, this is what the Note 20 series this year is going to look like. And I'm going to withdraw all the complaints I had from the previous um, note leak that we saw in white and this looks amazing. So this is in bronze They're calling it the mystic bronze finish and it was actually part of the Russian Samsung website So it's more or less an official leak kind of teasing the phone at this stage because we're only a month away from the phone And to be honest, it looks absolutely phenomenal I would buy this in an instant and I think it goes well with Samsung's other products that they've um, Leaked or they've actually teased for this launch with the note 20 series So if you go over to ice universe's next tweet It talks about how the note 20 ultra's copper color is a bit pink and it is frosted glass Which basically means it's not gonna attract any sort of fingerprints, which is great So it's gonna be more or less like the OnePlus 8 series or how the Huawei P40 Pro is in this case. It's not going to attract any fingerprints and a cool point uh, pointed out by Silvestru right here. I don't know who that is but he basically said the Galaxy Watch 3 leak that we saw from EV leaks actually points to the same colors. So Samsung is matching up all of its lineup to match with the Note 20 series and all of these leaks sort of fall into place like a jigsaw puzzle and to be honest I'm really looking forward to this color because it feels unique. We haven't seen it in the past if the phone is smaller than the s20 ultra and it's got this design it's pretty much a buy from me i think that's going to be my next phone for the foreseeable future now this next tweet from ice universe actually lays out the front panel of the note 20 ultra so these are the protective films of the note 20 ultra and to me it looks absolutely stunning the amount of bezels on this thing is crazy small so that's obviously something to look forward to and this is basically outlining the differences between the note 20 plus slash ultra and the note 20 in terms of size now my initial impressions is that the note 20 plus looks a bit squarish and it has a bigger camera bump so to be honest i think the note 20 plus will, will borrow a lot from the s20 ultra and the note 20 will borrow from the s20 plus and the s20 regular now Another thing to keep in mind is that the Note 20 apparently only has a 60 hertz uh, panel which I don't know if is a right move for Samsung but seeing that the iPhone 12 series only the pro models will have the 120 hertz display I think a similar move from Samsung at this stage makes sense but if you look at the prices of the Note 20 and Note 20 plus which we'll get to in just a bit you'll be a bit surprised how much Samsung is charging for these smartphones but before we get into that, let's talk about the Exynos 991 992 processor on this thing. So this comes from Mori QHD and he's had a couple of tweets actually talking about the Exynos processor and how it's going to bring improvements. And I think what he's trying to re-emphasize here is that even with the Note 20 and Exynos processor, we're going to see a significant jump in processing power considering how the S20 series saw some backlash between the Qualcomm processor and the Exynos processor. So we're obviously going to see major improvements in this front and if we go on to actually see the rest of his tweets he says the my s7 for example um has a 37.4 percent loss in performance due to thermals so that's a rough estimate of how much the 990 loses out on the add add the uh, add the usual 5 to 10 percent gain from 990 to 991 and we could be seeing gains up to 42 to 47 percent so that's a huge jump when it comes to heavy situations and maybe a smaller jump when it comes to normal usage case scenarios now remember this uh photo that i talked about well it's still live on samsung's website if you go to images.samsung.com actually i leave a link to this exact post down in the description for you guys to check out as well but this photo is actually live on samsung's website right now so i don't think they really care about removing it and it's pretty much official to what it is now let's get into the actual prices of the smartphone so the galaxy note 20 series the note 20 is going to be priced at 999 dollars whereas the note 20 ultra goes for a thousand 299 dollars which is a huge 
uh, price tag to be honest and that combined with that 60 hertz panel that we talked about on the note 20 basically means you're paying a premium for a phone that doesn't have even premium screen or display technology i don't know what to feel about that and ice universe actually made a tweet following this tweet talking about how not um, getting a 120 hertz panel at 1080p in 2020 is more or less a ripoff so there we go, pricing an Android phone with a 1080 60Hz screen and a regular camera at $999 can be considered fraud. Now, I'm pretty sure he meant that in a very, you know, funny slash troll way, but considering these prices, they are huge. Mori QHD also points out to pretty much big pricing, uh, 1,249 euros for the Note 20 and 1,499 euros for the Note 20 Ultra. So huge price tags. And if we were to convert this to uh, dirhams, you basically have to multiply it by five. So we're looking at around 6,000 dirhams. Now the official conversion might be different. So we're not gonna get the same pricing in the UAE. But if I was to guess, we would have the Note 20 at around 3,000. Uh, 499 dirhams and the Note 20 Ultra at maybe 4,000 dirhams. That's sort of the pricing that I'm going for for Samsung's um, UAE pricing as far as that's concerned. But I think that's a huge price tag if you're not getting the 120 hertz panel that you will get with the Note 20 Ultra. I was expecting something around the 700 or even $800 mark for the Note 20 and maybe a $1,100 price tag for the Note 20 Ultra. And I'm talking a lot about pricing because at the end of the day, we're going through a crisis. Not everyone can afford flagship level smartphones. And the fact that Samsung is actually blaming low sales of the S20 sales on this whole pandemic and still pricing these phones to such a high extent just doesn't make sense to me. But these might reflect European prices and these might reflect the official uh, United States pricing. And with that, we can actually move to the final tweet, which is August the 5th. So exactly one month from today, we're gonna see the Galaxy Note 20 series officially. We're also gonna see the Fold 2, I think. We're gonna see the Watch 3. We're gonna see plenty of different products being announced. I don't think this is gonna be a live event by any sorts. It's gonna be one that is streamed online. So pretty much look out for that. Well, have your browsers ready. You don't have to book any hotels. You don't have to book any flights to the actual venue. You can just watch it live, just like everyone else is going to do so. Again, Mori QHD with um, his thoughts on the actual Note 20 and Note 20 Plus Ultra. He wants everything to be fixed, a decent Exynos 991 and a reasonable price. So far, the decent Exynos 991 might be making sense. The reasonable price, I don't know if $999 for a 1080p 60 hertz panel is reasonable and I want everything fixed. Well, given the backlash that the S20 Ultra has gotten in the past few months, I would hope Samsung goes on to fix that and fixes it well. But that about wraps up this video. Let me know what you guys think about the Galaxy Note 20 series. I know this was a second video on the phone in about two weeks, but I had to make it because there's been so much new things um, pointed out. If you wanna go check out this picture for yourselves, again, the link is in the description. Check out all the leaksters that I've also mentioned, Ice Universe, Max Weinbach, as well as Mori QHD. Links in the description as well. But again, this was Vabo. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Adios.